This is a video on how to create a quick low vision map using an app called SAS Gloss on the iPad. Print black and white maps are often challenging to see for students with low vision. Adding color to the hallways or streets and being able to zoom will significantly improve the usability of these maps. We are going to quickly create a digital map and mark up this map to make it easier to view. First, Use the iPad to take a picture of the desired print map. I often use the school maps that are commonly posted around the school depicting the fire escape routes. To take a picture, press the home button and the on and off button simultaneously. The school map is now in your photo app. If desired, you can crop the picture in the photo app. Next, open the annotation app called SAS Gloss. This is a free app. From the home screen, press the Add button in the top left toolbar. To add the school map picture, press the picture symbol at the bottom left of the screen and choose Select from Library. Note that you can take a picture directly from the screen. I'm going to open up the map that I just took and now I'm going to expand it to be full screen. If the toolbar is not available at the top, tap the Done button in the top left corner. The top toolbar now displays the options Undo, Redo, Layered, Help, and Expand. If you tap on Help, it will give hints and a video on how to use SAS Gloss. The bottom toolbar now shows picture, text, pen, color, eraser, background, and clear. I first want to distinguish the hallways by highlighting them with color. I will touch the pen option in the bottom of the toolbar. I'm going to use the straight line option and I'm going to adjust the size to about 42. Tap outside the pop-up bar to close the app. I close the pop-up. Next, I'm going to select my color. I'm going to choose blue. Starting at the end of the hallway, I'm going to draw my straight line. Notice that the straight line starts at the beginning and ends at the end point. If I want to redo a line, I touch the undo button and I can do it again. If I need to make my line smaller, I can go back to pen, select a smaller size, and then continue drawing. Now I'm going to select a larger size. And if I want to erase, I can hit the Erase button and Erase. Now I'm going to make the Media Center green. I'm going to touch Pen. I'm going to choose Rectangle. I have Fill on. I'm going to choose the color green. Starting at the corner, I'm going to draw that green box. Now I'm going to add the word media. I'm going to change the color of the word to purple. And I'm going to drag media to where I want it. And then I'm going to adjust the size. If I want to mail this picture, email it, I can hit the Done button. Hit the Gloss button. Hit Share. Select the map I want to share. Hit Share again. 
email and type in the desired email address. 